Good morning, everyone. Welcome to St. Jared Vangela Church today as we celebrate the 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Our gathering hymn and our communion hymn will both be found in the green gather hymnal, and the numbers are there for you to see. Our gathering hymn is number 747. Number 747. Please stand as we sing together. All people that on earth do dwell. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today I put on white vestment because for the Redemptorists, today we have a solemnity, the feast of the Most Holy Redeemer. <coughs> Most Holy Redeemer. Redemptorists from redemption, Redeemer, so that mosaic picture right there, that captured the most holy Redeemer, Jesus Christ, our Savior. And so we, Redemptors, have a famous uh, slogan, if you will, from Psalms 130, verse 7. With him is plentiful redemption. And so today you can hear a lot about it. Today I want to share with you one word called Jesus. And so, J-E-S-U-S. May God bless us this day through Jesus that we have plentiful redemption, love, and mercy. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the, in the highest. highest, and, and on, on earth peace, peace to people, people of good goodwill. Will. We, we praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore you, we, adore you, we glorify you. you, we give, give you thanks for your, your great glory. Lord God, God Heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only, only begotten, begotten Son, Son Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of the, of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, 
have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you appointed your only begotten Son as Redeemer of the world. And through him, you overcame death and mercifully restored us to life. Grant that we, who recall these blessings, may deserve to be united to you by an enduring bond of love and to enjoy forever the fruit of that redemption. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to the shepherds who mislead and scatter the flock of my pastor says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, against the shepherds who shepherd my people, who have scattered my sheep and driven them away. You have not cared for them, but I will take care to punish your evil deeds. I myself will gather the remnant of my flock from all the lands to which I have driven them and bring them back to their meadow. There they shall increase and multiply. I will appoint shepherds for them who will shepherd them, so they need no longer fear and tremble, and none shall be missing, says the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord, our justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have become near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, he who made both one and broke down the dividing wall of enmity through his flesh, abolishing the law which its commandments and legal claims that he might create in himself one new person in place of the two, thus establishing peace and might reconcile both with God in one body through the cross, putting that enmity to death by it. He came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, we both have access in one spirit to the Father. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in a boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When he disembarked, and saw the vast crowd. His heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Jesus, I would like to invite you to say, Jesus, Jesus. louder. Jesus. If you can make it even louder. Jesus. There you go. Let me come over here because my microphone is not good for this name. What is Jesus for you? Who is Jesus for you? Because a lot of times we say the name, our routine, habit, that maybe we don't even think about it. But today, because we celebrate that name, the Most Holy Redeemer.
for me as a redemptive missionary, we have the commission, if you will. We have a charism called the redemptive call to follow the example of Jesus Christ, to preach the good news to the poor and modest abandoned. And so today, I want to reflect with you that name, Jesus, and not just the name, but the whole person, the whole mystery, the whole presence of God in our midst. And in fact, because of that name, you and I are here. Because of that name, you and I met. Because of that name, we worship together. Because of that name, we, we go beyond our, we call, racist denominations, religions, you name it. And so many people today claim that they are Christian, over a billion people. And so today, let us study a little bit. And I'm today very serious, serious because that name struck me, if you will, with five letters in there. J-E-S-U-S. -S. These five letters somehow give me some identities, the personalities, the reality of Jesus. The first J stands for joy. When we come to Jesus, we find joy. If we don't find joy in Jesus, I think we go to the wrong guy. We even worship the wrong person. Why? Because joy of Jesus comes from hope, comes from strong belief, and comes from deep gratitude. This is the three words from joy. Joy without hope, it just the funny thing, sometimes we see funny people, but they don't mean it. Outside, they are funny and happy. But when we ask them a real serious question, like for example, I asked my cousin one day, are you happy? And both of them, they marry. Yes. And then 30 seconds later, I asked them, are you truly happy? They both say at the same time, no. That's how we cope ourselves every day with happiness. And we're not truly joyful. Our joy has to con conquer, has to come from hope, come from a strong belief connection with our God the Father. When we see Jesus, we see Father. Jesus said, if you see me, you see my Father. My Father and I are one. What I listen to from my, my father, I will tell you. And in deep gratitude, my brothers and sisters, Jesus has joy. Today, Jesus said that my apostles, my workers, go to the deserted place and have rest, have a retreat. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much for your hard work. I'll take care of people over here. When Jesus saw those people scatter around without shepherd, his heart melting. That's what Jesus joy, my brothers and sisters. The second word is E. E stands for evangelization. Now today, by the way, Catholic, we're very bad with evangelizations. We don't have that sense of evangelizations. We just say, hey, we Catholic, we're the best. You just follow. I don't need to advertise. I don't need to preach. I don't need to tell you who we are. But that is not right. One priest, now he's a bishop, Vietnamese. He came home from the from, from United States. He said, we Catholic, we're not very good with evangelizations. Buddhists stay with Buddhists. Catholics stay with Catholics. And they never talk to each other about religion. Of course, when we talk about religion, we argue, we fight, we divide. Again, in Jesus, we have to teach, we have to preach. When Jesus saw people scattered around 
like sheep without shepherd, he began to teach them many things. Again, in Jesus, in his words, we find truth, we find freedom, we find joy. When you lost at home, when you have nothing to do, come to church. Because when you hear the word of God, the word of God gives you that inner joy, inner freedom, and even direction of life. What you're supposed to do with yourself, with your neighbors, with your enemies, with the world today. S. We said it all over and over from the first reading to response to a psalm. Shepherd. Jesus shepherding. And he's not just shepherd with the cane, with the rod, with the stick. He, share, he shepherd with care. He shepherd by leading, by example, his own example. He shepherd by dying on the cross. He shepherd by loving us. Remember three times Jesus asked Peter after the resurrection. He says, Peter, son of John, do you love me? And Peter said, yes, I love you, Lord. And he asked him three times, and he gave him the same answer for those three times. Feed my sheep, tend my lamb. He loves us so much that before he leaves here, he said that I will send you the Holy Spirit to be with you always, to inspire you, to teach you how to preach and how to talk to one another. You stand for unity. In Jesus, there is unity. In Jesus, there is oneness. In Jesus, there is togetherness. There is no division in Jesus. And so when we claim ourselves Christians or disciples of Jesus, and we still divide among ourselves into subgroups, into parties, into all kinds of differences, we have to examine ourselves again. When Jesus saw the shepherd like a pastor today that divide among their parishioners and their communities, Jesus will be very saddened. Jesus is not happy when we have leaders divided among themselves. And so today, let us unify ourselves. Later on, we will pray the Our Father. Whenever I pray that prayer, Our Father, it reminds me and calls me again and again that we need to un unify one another, love one another, work together, dialogue with one another, pray for one another, respect one another because we have only one God and our God is bigger than just Catholic. Our God covers all God, all God. And so we need to remember this fact. In Jesus, there is oneness. There is no exclusivity, only in inclusivity, only one God. The last one, S stand for spiritual, spirited, redemption, eternal life. Jesus no longer on the crucifix for us to touch in a real person, but Jesus is in each one of us. He said, when you give a glass of water to my least brothers and sisters, you give it to me. Saul, Saul. Why are you persecuting me? Because when you persecuted my brothers and sisters, you persecuted me. Today, let us go beyond our earthly life. Yes, this is the kingdom of God on earth, but we need to go beyond it. We need to live our life for eternal life. We need to aim that far and high. Today, let us ask God through Jesus, we have redemption. Through Jesus, we have joy. Through Jesus, we have unity. Through Jesus, we have wisdom to live our life every day. And so I wish and pray that our community here, whoever comes to this church, reminded and call that we become a little Jesus every day for one another. 
And if you can name yourself Jesus Jr. for man or for woman, it doesn't matter. But we live that spirit of Jesus in us, so that the world can recognize not just that, but feel the presence of Jesus, of God, of joy, of unity, of love, of mercy, right now and right here. As you know, that yesterday. July 17, we remember those officers who died five years ago. We remember those people who sacrifice every day uh, for us, and many more people who worked hard to unify us. Let us unify ourselves. Let us preach that gospel of hope, gospel of love and mercy to one another. Amen. Please stand and let us offer to God our strong faith that we Catholic and Christian believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in one, the law, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With him, with Jesus, there is plentiful redemption. And so, my brothers and sisters, God gathers, teaches, and feeds us. We turn in prayer, trusting in God's justice and kindness. For those called to shepherd God's flock, especially Pope Francis, Bishop Duca, and Father Tat, our pastor. May they compassionately attend to the needs of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, may Christ be our peace and reconciliation, breaking down walls and putting to death the enmity that divides us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For protection from the ravages storms for life and property during this hurricane season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve our community in law enforcement or who encourage dialogue and cooperation among diverse groups in Baton Rouge. May we see the, that beyond our divisions, we are members of one body. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community of St. Gerard, that we may continue to be disciples who gather God's flock by our care for the needs of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially parishioners of St. Gerard and the intentions of this Mass. Adams, Barbier, Delapas families, 
Dominique Hung, and Reginald Parker, that they may know the embrace of the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray through Christ for our needs and for the needs of all the world. Today we especially remember Corporal Montreal Jackson, Deputy Brad Garapola, Officer Matthew Gerald, and other officers who sacrificed their lives for our sake and for the sake of our community. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, you grant healing to those who turn to you and feel the needs of those who come to you. Hear this, our prayers, that one day we may enjoy eternal rest in your kingdom. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We have a second collection today, especially for our bell tower. And uh, thank you very much for your generosity. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Amen. 
O Lord, we pray, accept these gifts we offer from the blessings you have bestowed on us. And may the sacrifice which we offer you now on earth become for us the reward of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, it is truly good and fitting, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the Redeemer whom you had promised in the covenant of old. You consecrated and sent to us to restore your gift to lost humankind. He came among us in our mortal flesh, offered himself in sacrifice, and by his death and resurrection brought your salvation to all people. In him, we have plentiful redemption from our age-long slavery. In him, we have truth, light, and life. In him, we have been signed with the Holy Spirit who was promised, and we are blessed with the hope of obtaining the full liberty of sons and daughters. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you and acclaim you with a joyful hymn. Indeed, Holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim will. your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, given thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially those we mention in this Mass, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Alphonsus, redemptive saints and blessed, and with all the saints who have throughout the, mid the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you 
through your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Every time we pray our Father, it's like a testimony for us again and again that we are called to be oneness or togetherness unity in all dimensions of our life. And so at this moment, let us pray together the word Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will, will be done, be done. on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom the, power. the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said that your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other the sigh of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall live. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
let us pray. O oh Lord, through our redemption by your Son, Jesus, you give us the grace to hope in what we believe. Refresh now with the gift of your salvation. <coughs> we humbly pray you to lead us also in joy to the attainment of our goal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You see that big altar boy right here? First weekend. So give uh, Joe Zito a uh, pause. <laughs> this guy, he used to be an altar boy 40 years ago. So to just hold the bell and ring it, it's a lot of memories. Uh, Greg, he said that uh, back then he came here, the most important uh, memorable place is the confessional. So that's, that's another place that they remember. But today, my brothers and sisters, thank you for coming. Um, a few things to uh, remember. Next weekend, we have a group of uh, people from Holy Land. They come here to sell a couple of uh, religious articles uh, to support Christians in Holy Land. They couldn't find any parishes that allow them to do this, so they call us. I can't say no to them. So next week, bring extra money. Okay? Uh, to support them if you could. Uh, they will be here for all masses. Um, what else? Retreat, uh, for those who like to go to retreat, uh, 12 o'clock today, uh, Father Josh Johnson uh, will give a retreat. Uh, some of you received the, uh, the invitation. It will be the address 12991 in Highland Row. If you don't know, just text me or call me. I'll, I'll give you the information. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. The second collection today to fix the bell tower, it cost us $20,000, and they already finished fixing it. And uh, we'll pay uh, about $13,000. Uh, so thank you very much for your generosity. It will be uh, very helpful for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The mass is ended. Let us go in peace and joy and glorify our Lord by our, Lord, by our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. To God. <laughs>